there's a whole series of lectures that Prabhupada gave. There's a slideshow. I can I can send this. Maybe you can make it available because you're going to do more of these. Um, of what you know, what's the importance of learning slokas? Well, one one thing is that Prabhupada says, even if you don't understand the meaning, the sound of the Sanskrit verses is potent and will help to purify you. You know, I mean, just like a child, you know, comes into a kirtan, what does he know? You know, but just being there, the sound of the holy name, all of the, the verses of the Bhagavatam are transcendental. They're potent in drawing us to Krishna. So there's that. There's also uh, this is a whole book that of shlokas produced earlier. Why learn shlokas? One is to make our presentation more authoritative. Because oftentimes, you know, we speak, uh, we may be in India or in any of the Western countries, there's so many Indians, you know, they're like. But also it, it helps you to know, oh, this is the very words of Krishna. This isn't my words. Prabhupada would often quote this first. Uh, you know, those who don't surrender unto me are Buddhas, the lowest of mankind, right? So Prabhupada says, I'm not saying, people get angry at me, I'm not saying, this is Krishna saying. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. 